guests, um, the Minister of Science and Education of Portugal, uh, Professor Nuno Crato, uh, the Rector of the University of Porto, uh, Professor Sebastião Feio de Azevedo, our uh, national representative in the ESO Council, uh, Dr. Uh, Paulo, um, Paulo Garcia, sorry, <laughs> and um, uh, the director of the Center for Astrophysics at the University, University of Porto, Dr. Pedro Vlino. And I will pass my word to uh, Dr. Pedro Vlino. Professor Paulo Garcia. I would also like to thank the University of Porto and the Porto City Council for the support provided to this conference and my colleagues Nuno Santos, Sergio de Souza and Pedro Figueira for leading the organization of this event. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this conference in one of the most exciting topics of modern astrophysics. I'm very happy that this conference takes place in the year of the 25th birthday of the Center for Astrophysics of the University of Porto, which is the oldest and largest uh, astronomy center in Portugal. This year is a very exciting year for Portuguese astronomy, also because it marks the creation of a national institute for astronomy, which results from the merging of the two main astrophysics research centers in Portugal, the astrophysics research centers of the University of Porto and of the University of Lisbon. I have no doubt that this new research center, the Institute of Astrophysics and Space Sciences, will be the reference for Portuguese astronomy worldwide, in particular in the area of stellar and exoplanet research, which brings us all here today. With this, I'd like to finish wishing you all a very enjoyable and most productive conference. Thank you very much. Okay, I will, uh, dear colleagues, I think we are all colleagues, even our colleagues in the, in the because uh, in, in spite of our functions, we were all uh, researchers and did uh, a PhD in a research field. Uh, my point today is that space science is, is an outstanding research area in the landscape of Portuguese science. Uh, the figure I'm showing you is the relative impact of Portuguese papers uh, relative to what? Relative to the average of EU 50 papers in different areas. And we see that in all areas in Portuguese science, the area with highest relative impact is the area of space science, astronomy and astrophysics. So there is a lot of quality in our community. The second point I want to uh, make is the funding. The pie chart in the left shows the average uh, funding distribution for all FCT units, National Science Foundation units in Portugal. Uh, these units on average receive, for each euro they receive from funding from the FCT, they are able to go to the competitive goals of the seven framework program and obtain back half a euro for the Portuguese scientific system. In contrast, our space science, astronomy and astrophysics units 
For each euro SET injects in the system, they are able to get two euros back into Portugal science system. And the science system means jobs for our uh, colleagues that are working in the field and money being directly injected into our economy. And therefore, our community is injecting funds into the Portuguese economy in this particular situation we live. Third point I want to make is that our community worldwide sets its priorities and our researchers in Portugal participate in the priority setting. And the research they do in Portugal is in this context and I would like to call your attention to uh, an organization that implements the infrastructures required by the priorities and it is the European Southern Observatory. Portugal is a member of the European Southern Observatory. There is uh, a scientific community in space sciences because uh, there was a decision made a long time ago to join ESO and ESO is critical for our researchers doing uh, planet searches, which is the, the topic of this conference, but for many other areas. And therefore, it is not surprising that in the evaluation that is being conducted, all units that have astronomy and astrophysics as their main research area have passed to stage 2 evaluation. Arriving at this stage, I will say what we need more, what do our community needs more. Uh, in the current situation, asking for uh, just more money is not uh, probably a very uh, uh, good idea, but we need to grow as a community new qualitative features. And for me, uh, this idea of an intersectoral program, which was well accepted by FCT, is critical. We must bring into our community and the dynamics of our community to an intersectoral program of projects and networks joining FCT units and companies, SME industry. This is critical for our industries if we want to have a competitive approach to the peak of procurement that the ELT will have uh, in the next decade. So it is critical for us to be competitive as, as, as a country. And it is also very important for our units, our research units, because this connection to industry will reinforce the capacity of these industries in big science projects involving instrumentation, data analysis, high performance co computing, among others. And uh, last but not least, this is critical for uh, a weakness of our system that is having jobs for the PhDs. PhDs in uh, science can only have jobs in industry of our SMEs if they are integrated in a melting pot of intersectoral programs. And this idea is very obvious and therefore it is implemented in the Horizon 2020 where most of the programs are intersectoral and an intersectoral program in Portugal will add capacity to our country to compete in Horizon 2020 and bring back uh, funds that will not only go to our research but also to our economy. Thank you. Is it on? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Uh, the Minister of Education and Science, Professor Nomgrat, the uh, Director of Center of Astrophysics of the University of Porto, Pedro Volino, and Paul Garcia, my colleague from the Faculty of Engineering now, today representing SCT, the uh, organizers, guests, uh, conference speakers, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by greeting the members of this opening panel and welcoming all the more than 200 delegates coming from most respected research centers in astrophysics from all over the world. I think for considering the topic of this conference, it is worth saying, it is acceptable to say, coming from all over the world and beyond. Uh, uh, for this conference uh, towards other planets, a special thanks to, to our Minister of Education and Science, President Kraft. You know that you are always very welcome in our university uh, and it is indeed an honor to have you presiding to this opening of this just another important initiative of our university um, your presence here is of course uh, also a signal of, of the 
the right ones you give to research and, and to research in Portugal in particular. I also have to thank uh, my colleague Pedro Avelino and, and the Center of uh, Astrophysics for this invitation. Uh, I'm really delighted to, to address this audience in this opening session for what this conference means. And these are not, and these are not words of occasion. These are indeed words of someone that in all his professional life, as academic and educator, as a researcher, as previous dean of the Faculty of Engineering, now as rector, has been working for more than 35 years in favor of international cooperation. In fact, this meeting meets, has all to do with my program of work for the University of Port for the next four, four years. I'm rector for two months now, so it's still on its beginning. A program made of commitment to national and international cooperation with other academic institutions, with companies, and with other organizations from our society. It is worth mentioning to you this, which of course is very pleasant and sweet to me. Over the past two weeks, from 2nd of September till today, this is the fourth international meeting where I'm speaking. We had one meeting concerning thermophysical properties from Faculty of Science with circa 500 participants. Just another meeting, a World Congress on Education Science with over 2,400 delegates. A Congress in Chemical Engineering with 400 plus participants. And now this conference. This means that over the past two weeks, the University of Porto and the City of Porto were the places where more than 3,500 scientists, 3,500 scientists from all over the world met to discuss science. This is one of the contributions that Porto gives to science. On this major issue of cooperation, let me share with you just a few thoughts. First of all, it is clear that cooperation, and special international cooperation, is the only way for the future in our open and global world of the 21st century. The proactive contact and cooperation between academic and research communities, and between these communities and society as a whole, is decisive for educational, scientific, technological, and intellectual advancement in all fields of study. Our success in doing well through national and international cooperation is largely dependent on how much and how strongly we are able to promote one major value in our open society. The key word for this value is trust. And this value we shall be able to promote in as much as our quality is perceived and understood by all stakeholders and partners, both at national and international level. The dimension of cooperation that we are able to promote and attract is thus simultaneously a promoter of our development and a key indicator of the stage of development where we stand. Dear organizers and delegates, it's absolutely clear to me that your conference is an event of, of great academic and scientific interest. It is a conference with a significant, with major international scope, gathering, I, I saw and I spoke with people, most prestigious speakers and addressing topics of undeniable scientific relevance. It is therefore an opportunity for the worldwide community, specifically concerned with research about extrasolar planets, an active area of research in modern astronomy to share their recent achievements, to exchange value, experiences, and not least, not least, to inspire young researchers for their work. For all these reasons, it is very gratifying for the University of Porto to host this conference. We are very honored and be sure that we all will do our best to deserve the trust you placed on, in us. A word of acknowledgement, of acknowledgement is due to our colleagues and to the staff from the Center of Astrophysics in the persons of the director of the center and of the chair and co-chairs, Nuno Santos, Pedro Figueira and Sergio Souza. This includes all the people, the many people that work, that are behind the scenes working for this event. I am sure, and I say I am sure because I know well how these developments occur, that bringing to Portugal and to Porto this major event has much to do with international recognition, the quality and visibility of your work in this area. By all means, this is good for Portugal and for our university, and you deserve high credits and our public recognition of your work. The conference is, is to me also a very appropriate way to celebrate the 25th anniversary 
of the Center of Astrophysics. It was already mentioned, the largest Portuguese research institute in astronomy, and indeed the one exhibiting the highest scientific productivity in space sciences, with more than 800 papers published and over 25,000 citations registered. An institute that additionally, and you should know that, is a very remarkable promoter of scientific culture in our country through the activity of the Porto Planetary. I look forward to seeing what you are going to achieve in the next 25 years. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a, a short introduction to the University of Porto. The university was formally established on 22nd of March 1911, that is over 100 years ago, but in fact its origins date back to the 18th century, with a succession of institutions, the first of them created as far as in 762. 1762, that after several merges gave rise to university in, in 1911. So we are speaking of more than 250 years of history and experience in education and research. Specifically, over the past 40 years, the University of Port has been putting a lot of, et of effort into expanding its international scope, as well as promoting the exchange of advanced knowledge with experts across the globe. Today, our institution is the second largest of Portuguese universities, with more than 32,000 students, more than 1,800 full-time equivalent faculty, and more than 1,600 technical support staff. We are organized in 14 faculties covering essentially all areas of knowledge, and we are the academic partner of a business school in association with major companies and institutions in the region. About 10% of our students, more than 10% in fact, roughly 4,000, come from 112 countries. About 10% of our students work for their PhD. Our research is mainly organized into 51 certified research units and is responsible for more than 20% of the Portuguese Scientific Production Index in the Web of Science. Several indicators of academic quality show a continuous progress along the years. The University of Porto is catching up with the top 100 universities, European universities, but being clearly within this group, well, lower, in this, lower, that means upper, in this, in this uh, grading, uh, in several fields. In the current academic year, 2014-15, 4,000 new students have chosen the University of Porto to study. This being the highest rate ever, um, ever of places filled in Portuguese public education, 96%. As in previous years, the University of Porto is still the most sought after Portuguese institution as first option. In the first round of national examinations for the university admission, more than 25% of applicants to higher education institutions have chosen the University of Porto as their first option. <coughs> These figures are indicative of the university's reputation of its, and of its top grade entry requirements. We attract the best of our young people finishing their secondary education. <laughs> it is clear, clear that we must do better, we must do much better tomorrow than what we are doing today. But we have good reasons to say that today we are doing well. Ladies and gentlemen, just uh, a final note about the city. I know that some of you are in Porto for the very first time. According to historical descriptions, uh, we can trace back to the days of the Romans, more than 2,000 years ago, the existence of a settlement known as Porto Scale, located by the river close to the bridge reached first. I hope you go there because that is also close to the port wine cellars. Um, and, and, and the port wine cellars of today. The name of Portugal derived from Porto Scale. So, we come from ancient civilizations. Therefore, I would like to invite you to join, to enjoy the architectural heritage and the cultural and human wealth that our city has to offer. And also invite you to visit the University of Porto. We appreciate very much you being here. 
We wish you a pleasant stay in our city and, of course, a very fruitful conference. Thank you very much. Good morning, Professor Pedro Avelino. Good morning, Professor Paul Garcia. Good morning, the organizers, Professor Bruno Santos, my friend. And good morning, everybody. And welcome to this conference and to all Porto. Today, I'm going around the country for the official starting of the school year. And it's a great pleasure to start the starting of the school year with a scientific conference. And it's a great, not only a great pleasure, but a great opportunity to tell our middle school and high school students how great science is and how we can be uh, important in science, important in the sense of making contributions to science and essentially to tell them the sky is the limit. This is a great topic. This conference is a great topic. And all the right, all the right signs are here. Internationalization. We have a great, a great scientific center which is inter internationalized. We have a great community of scientists in Portugal. A community of scientists that travel all around the world. That are known and well known all around the world, that cooperate with people all around the world, that publish, that are read, that are recognized, that are heard in conferences all around the world. There is no other way of doing science. We have also a topic that apparently and in reality for many is only curiosity driven. What good can come from us? from knowing that there are planets similar to Earth around other solar systems, other systems, around other stars. It's a question that many of us can try to answer, and we have already examples. But essentially, it's good to know. And that's the right answer that we have to tell the students. But we have to tell a second answer. And that second answer is that after knowing it, there are unknown benefits that derive from it. And there are space technology, there are Teflon, there are other things from our day-to-day -day, uh, use that derive in an unexpected way from, uh, from space science and from curiosity-driven uh, science. And that industry is very important for Portugal. It's very important for us to be involved since the beginning in ESA, to be involved now in this great with, uh, with ESO, to be involved now with this great project, the extremely European Extremely Large Telescope in Chile. I have the privilege to be at the inauguration of ALMA. And it's very important for not only our scientists, but also for our corporations, for our for our more advanced technological corporations to be involved in this endeavor. Finally, it's very important for our students to have contact and to be taught by professors who are scientists and who are very active in research. And our scientists in space science are very active and they are very active in very aspects, in many aspects, even in, in science popularization, which is a great uh, area here in Oporto. And they give an example to all of us. Finally, welcome all to Porto, welcome all to Portugal. You are at the great city, you are uh, hosted by a great center and you are hosted by a great university. I wish you all very pleasant days and very productive days. Thank you.
So uh, thank you very much for the kind words. And uh, we will now uh, start the scientific program. Uh, so I'll pass the word to science now. Thank you.